Well, you can leave the planet, is what you can do. Uh, apparently, they've discovered three very Earth-like planets orbiting a dwarf star, apparently 40 or so light years away. Now, that sounds very far, but the galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy itself, spans 10,000 light years. So I guess it's it's like next door. Popular Science Project's editor Sophie Bushwick on the significance of that. Sophie, how big a deal is this? This is a really big deal because we're going to be able to study these planets more closely than we might have been able to look at other exoplanets we've found. A lot of exoplanet missions are looking at stars like our own star, the Sun, the stars that are large and that emit light in the visible wavelengths. But this telescope called TRAPPIST is looking at ultra-cool dwarf stars. These are stars about an eighth the size of our sun, and they're much cooler. They emit light in the infrared wavelengths, which means they're invisible to your traditional optical telescopes. So they built this infrared telescope in Chile, and what they're doing is they were looking at the brightness of this, these dwarf stars to see whether that brightness dipped as planets crossed in front. And they found three planets. Two of them are very close to the star. One of them is further away, but all three of them have the potential to support life. And we'll be able to study them more. Well, how do you know they have the potential to support life? Or do they have water, what appears like water, or what? They're in the right temperature zone. I they see. have the right temperature so that liquid water could exist on the surface. And because they're close, they're only 40 light years away, it's going to be easier for scientists to look at their atmospheres and say whether or not, A, they could support life, and B, there is life there. You know, Sophie, I, you're an expert and a genius. I watched <laughs> a lot of old Star Trek episodes, so I know. So I think we're both on the same footing here. But I, I always wonder about this notion that uh, to, to support life, you have to be a planet like ours. What, what about, uh, you know, systems that are nothing like ours, yet somehow support life that would be alien to what we think supports life? Right. So uh, when we say scientists are searching for life, they are searching for life that would require liquid water and something like oxygen. So that's that's the kind of life we're used to here on Earth, so that's what we're looking for. But yes, there is the potential that there could be some life so totally alien that we're not sure what to look for. It makes sense, though, to start with what we know. Yeah. And that's what scientists are doing now. Well, I know Captain Kirk was totally flummoxed at this one system that had life, and he like, hello, there's nothing. But I digress. Uh, it, it, when I found out that these were about 40 light years away, I guess that's just a skip in the, in the park, considering some of these distances. But I think about that, whatever images we're getting now are really from 40 years ago. Yeah, so, it's sort of like looking into the past. Right. So even if they had, like, we wanted to pursue this, we have a long mm -hmm. mission ahead of us. Right. What we'd be doing is 40 years is not that long in the lifetime of a planet. Right. So we're assuming that the planets today are pretty much as they were 40 years ago. But I guess, yes, there's the potential that we could be looking at a snapshot of a planet that's now gone or changed. Yeah, I'm just thinking if they're looking at us, the images hmm. they're getting of 40 years ago, uh, they're, they're looking at the Ronald Reagan-Gerald Ford battle for the party's nomination. I be... think that'll depend how, how fine detail they can pick up from that distance. Really? Okay, fine. All right, well, you seem to be up on this stuff, but I urge you to do your homework, watch more of these Star Trek episodes. But Sophie, seriously, very interesting stuff. Can you Thanks. imagine, guys, what happens when all of a sudden we discover it's not just us? I wonder if we just think bigger, that all of a sudden everyone gets along, we start kumbayaing because we now know that out there there's life. Don't, what am I saying? We'll always be, we'll always be the same.